this is your Weather Extreme video for Sunday, February the 21st. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters, and wow, what a nice spring-like day we had yesterday with temperatures climbing into the mid-60s. Do you know that some places, especially south of Birmingham, might actually approach 70 degrees today? One of the warmest days we've had in nearly a month. Well, let's take a look at our SkyCam network, and let's start with Decatur. And a beautiful shot as the sun is beginning to add some color to the eastern sky. And we're looking more to the west on the Birmingham SkyCam. So we're looking at the buildings of downtown Birmingham. And we can also see a little color in the sky as we look off to the clear skies off in the east from Clanton. This morning we're dealing with a storm system that is uh, in the Oklahoma-Texas Panhandle area. And that is setting off a number of watches and warnings for winter weather across from uh, the Oklahoma Panhandle up towards Chicago. In the upper atmosphere, we had a zonal flow yesterday, but in response to the development of the trough over the western part of the country, we're we're developing a bit of a ridge over us, and of course that has helped to turn us more from winter into spring. But don't enjoy it too much because it's going to be short-lived. We're going to be turning much colder. Temperatures across the country, generally pretty cold across the north-central part of the United States uh, with that uh, trough out there. And across central Alabama, we're about, oh, Anywhere from about the same to about 5 degrees warmer than we were this time yesterday morning. No rain in the immediate vicinity to speak of, but we are looking at uh, some of the rain on the, the uh, composite regional chart out to our west that should be approaching tonight. And I mentioned uh, the watches and warnings, and they go all the way from uh, Michigan across the Chicago area back through uh, Kansas City, uh, back across much of Kansas into uh, the uh, Oklahoma and Texas uh, panhandle. So if you're planning any travel up that way, there could be some serious delays uh, for aviation especially. And of course, traveling, I'd be very careful about that. QPF-wise, we're looking at on the order of uh, half to one inch across the area, pr uh, coming primarily on uh, Monday from about midnight uh, 12.01 a.m. Monday till about noon on Monday, it looks like the best time. A uh, few uh, showers or thunderstorms may be uh, possible out there in uh, Texas and uh, Oklahoma, but uh, no uh, serious severe weather or no organized severe weather expected. All right, this is the 06 EGFS model run, and this is the uh, surface map for today. And a uh, warm front down along the Gulf Coast, but uh, moisture somewhat limited. Models uh, not doing a real good job, uh, especially later on in the period, but for the first 48 hours or so, models seem to be pretty good. Let's take an intermediate time. Uh, the little surface low comes out across West Tennessee, and uh, that will bring us rain tonight. This is about midnight, uh, so most of the rain at midnight still just to our west, but uh, probably the best chances for rain in Alabama before midnight are coming west of I-65. Bye. Monday at midday at noontime, the little short wave that's now up over Michigan has uh, zipped on by quite nicely. That should sweep the rain out of here as the surface low heads up across Ohio. Uh, so uh, we may see, uh, well, I think Monday afternoon will be cloudy and we may see some light precipitation or some drizzle, but I think for the most part, uh, the rain will be over. Uh, we've got two systems we're watching on Tuesday, and one is the uh, deep trough over the south-central Canada, and then the uh, short wave that is moving through uh, northern Mexico and extreme southwest uh, Texas. Uh, that will be responsible for the next weather system that may be giving Texas some snow on uh, Tuesday. But it looks like our snow chances are probably diminished somewhat here that short wave and the upper uh, the the big uh, uh, trough across the north central part of the country begin to phase up as they move across here on Wednesday and that should uh, bring us uh, colder weather significantly colder weather you see the 540 line dives down towards the Gulf Coast but it looks like it's going to be somewhat moisture starved so uh, looks like now just some possible light chances for some Rain, maybe, you know, a few snow flurries, but right now it certainly doesn't look like it based on the current model run. By Thursday, the uh, upper low has uh, anchored itself over the East Coast, and this is certainly something we've seen a lot this year, and that is giving them another storm system up that way. 
uh, although the GFS seems to have backed off a little bit on the strength of it, but it's certainly going to give them some problems. And you can see that we're staying cold on Thursday. Uh, that thing begins to dumbbell. That is, uh, uh, it's kind of got these strong short waves rotating around it, uh, and that's causing it to uh, do a bit of a dumbbelling effect. Plus, we have a short wave coming through Texas, and the result for that is that we see another round of rain on Friday uh, out to our west. But it looks like uh, that system comes through pretty quickly, and uh, and as it does, the most of the moisture is going to be uh, confined to the Gulf Coast, so it looks like while Saturday will be chilly, it doesn't look like we're going to have anything in the way of uh, serious precipitation. And then as we get into Sunday, the 28th of the month, the end of the month, uh, we're uh, dry but uh, chilly uh, with a slight warm-up possible. All right, let's go out into voodoo country here. And um, this is actually uh, kind of on the edge of voodoo. This is the first of March, Monday. I wanted to just show this very quickly because we got another strong short wave coming through and another possible uh, wet day. Then way out in Voodoo, uh, we have a, a kind of two systems, one on the 5th that is bringing us some chances for wet weather on uh, 5th and early on the 6th. And then again at the end of the period, another one on the 8th uh, that will be bringing us another round of wet weather. Well, thanks for tuning in to the Weather Extreme video. Uh, James Spann will be back with the next one bright and early on Monday morning. I sincerely hope that you have a great Sunday. And yeah, I'm kind of dressed up. This is my Sunday to Usher, and, uh, and I'm the Usher captain, so kind of have to look pretty good there. Uh, in the meantime, I hope that you have a great Sunday and Godspeed. Each day there are new stories to tell about the people who live here and the place we call home. All of the faces that I see, all of the places close to me, they're all part of all the best things about home. Sharing your stories on ABC 3340, Alabama's news leader.